it is me, the possessed, and I am here making something that I've done about 15 times now, and that would be the Villainous Tournament. Mm-hmm. Villainous Tournament. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, Villainous Tournament. Uh, since there's 15 villains here, uh, I will not be putting the Marvel Villainous in here because that is not compatible with regular Villainous. I will be putting them in teams of three that will go up against each other, but after I'm done arranging the tournaments, then uh, arranging the matches, then I will tell you exactly how the tournament is going to work. So, to get this uh, table cleared off, mostly, I'm going to have to pause. Okay, I'm back. Also, by the way, I am dreadfully sorry for that dreadful Among Us video. So, without further ado, let's get to the tournament's making. Matches of three. Just shuffle them real quick. The villain guides, and I'll be drawing them at random. That was probably a bad idea. Yeah, definitely a bad idea. Okay, so first one. Keep that a secret. Second one. Keep that a secret. Third one. Keep that a secret. And I'll just be drawing. Oh. Okay, so there should be five matches of three. Did I draw more than three right? I did, okay. No? Wait, what? What did I do? Huh. Okay, never mind. I, I don't know. I confused myself. Oh, great. That's fantastic. Okay, so I got the tournaments arranged out here. So now, I'm going to show you exactly how this tournament is going to work. So, just space these out for each other. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause recording in the middle of the game when I'm playing them on camera, but every once in a while I'm going to come back give you an update. Uh, this tournament's probably not going to start anytime soon because I don't exactly know how to make videos of playing board games yet. Um, also, I've been checking out a lot on Villainous, and I know I've already. Oh no. I've already been knowing this for a while now, but Gaston is complete and is waiting for release. For the next villainous set. So I wonder when he will. I wonder when that next set will be coming out. Um, yeah. So, yeah. I mean, all the sets either released in March or July slash August. So I'm thinking it should be released next March. I mean, great birthday present. Because I was born on March 21st, but you know. So, um,. First match of the tournament here, I have Scar, Ursula, and Captain Hook. Um, Scar versus Ursula versus Captain Hook. And this tournament is very straightforward. Then, Mother Gothel. Versus Corella Deville versus Radigan. I've been watching this show a lot lately called uh, Hell's Kitchen. Gordon Ramsay's great <laughs> to listen to. 
but if you get yell get him yelling at you, he'll pro probably want to whimper up in the corner, cry. <laughs> Just kidding. Prince John versus Evil Queen versus Pete. So one of the very rare occurrences is when my brother actually wins a villainous match against me, and he actually won. I guess we playing as Pete. Of course, it was the first time I've ever actually played as Pete in a game of Villainous. And plus, Prince John always wins. Which kind of weirds me out about the fact that I lost to him while he was being Prince John and I was Pete. But I won against Prince John. I won against him playing as Prince John. Well, I was playing as Jafar, who was, in my opinion, the hardest villain to complete a villainous. Anyways, next match, Maleficent versus well, Queen of Hearts, the worst character, versus Hades. Hate, there's no way. I'm pretty sure. Actually, I'm pretty sure that Hades and the Levison are in sync, like, with how long they take to complete, or whatever. Like, every single match Hades and the Levison have been in in one of my tournaments, they were, like, either, if it was more than a two-player game, they either both won at near the same time, or one of them was, or if it was just them in a match, and one of them got really close to winning, and one of them won. So, final match, Jafar. Shadow Man. And Yisma. I call her Yisma. Got that from somebody in particular who decided to make fun of the name. Which, and I stole it because, you know, she was not allowed to have it. So I still... I'm just kidding. No, she's, she's allowed to have it. Nope. She started it. Okay, so yes, I have all my matches here. So how it's going to work is I'm going to play to, like, say that this match right here, the Scar versus Captain Hook versus... So say that Captain Hook and Scar win but Ursula is left. These two will go up against each other. And it's going to be like that for every single matchup. Now, this is definitely not what I think the results are going to be of the first rounds of matches, but I'm just guessing. I mean, I'm not guessing. I'm just laying them out there to give you a better explanation. So, Next, they'll go, these two will go up against each other. Say the Scar wins this round. Mogotha wins this round. Prince John wins this round. Maleficent wins this round. Jafar wins, which is definitely not happening. Um, and then, happen, is all five of them will come up in a match together. They will all go against each other. Now, I don't know how my cameras work. I don't know exactly how good I'm doing at this, because... Um, because I'm not good at working with the camera, but yeah, so all of them say Jafar loses, Maleficent, Prince John, Nargothal and Scar move up, Maleficent loses, Prince John, Mother Gothel, Scar move up, Prince John lose. well, Maleficent loses, Prince John loses, Mother Gothel and Scar versus each other, Mother Gothel loses, Scar wins. Um... I actually have another tournament that I'm working on that I'm actually not going to film that's based on how Gordon Ramsay's Kitchen Nightmares show goes. I'm not going to try to explain that. But yeah, that's the villainous tournament. I'm going to take a picture of this tournament. Actually, right after I get done laying them all out, I'm going to take a picture of it. And then I'm going to clean up here. Uh, Marvel Villainous, I mean, who knows? I might do a tournament on Marvel Villainous later in the future, depending on how many expansions we get. If we get, like, if we get two expansions for it, I'll do a tournament.
because no, it wouldn't work. I'll probably do a tournament if there's just like um. Oh, whoa! I'll probably do a tournament if there's just uh eight people. Cause no, that'll work. You know what? Just because I uh I have some time left on my hands here. The tournament that I'm doing, based on Gordon Ramsay's Hell Kitchen show, is so. There's two teams of six. I chose probably the two most powerful villains and villainous, Maleficent and Jafar, to sit out, and then like the evil queen to be Gordon Ramsay, because like that's the most common. And I need to eliminate three to have two teams of six, so I chose Maleficent, Jafar, and Evil Queen. They'll still be in it, but they'll be in it later. So what I did was two teams of six, and this is going to be like a 12-player game, but I'm going to be playing it by myself, because um, the two teams of six will be going up against each other, and whichever team has all their villains complete their goals first wins now if there's just one villain on the losing team who didn't complete their goal they're out of the tournament but if there's two villains on the losing team that didn't complete their goals before the other villains won i choose which of those villains i like to play as more or just genuine or just basically like more than the other person, like, in the movies. And whichever one I choose, the other losing villain gets kicked out of the tournament. I keep going like that until I'm down to the final six in which they will all be by themselves. All by themselves. And a six-player match, and each and every time, It'll just be knocked out one by one until the final villain rises. Um, I might actually do it differently to where, yeah, if a final villain, if there's two villains who didn't win, then I'll choose which one I like more. Like, the two villains left that haven't completed their goal at the end of the actual six-player match... I was choose which villain I'd like more in their out, and I'll keep doing that until there's three people left, and then I'll uh, do oh go for three per match. How Gordon Ramsay does it for those of you who don't know what Hell Kitchen is, it's these it's twelve people. I'm only on season two, so I don't know if it's always twelve people, but so far it's only been twelve people who all have a dream of becoming chefs and making their restaurant. But the thing is, they're terrible at cooking. So what Ramsey does is he puts them on red and blue teams, each six on each team, and they all go against each other. Depending on what the dinner service was at the restaurant, he'll choose a losing team. He'll choose the best of the worst, as he calls it, on that losing team. And he will choose them to nominate two of their teammates for elimination. The two that the best of the worst puts up for elimination. Gordon Ramsay will choose which out of the two to kick out of Hell's Kitchen. And yeah, that's how it works. Um, I think he did put it down to the final five all the time. Whenever it gets down to the final five. He, take, he makes them all take off their red and blue jackets and make makes them uh, all wear black jackets so they're all for themselves. And that's just how he rolls. Until it all comes down to the finale for like one and a half episodes. One and a half hour episodes. But... Yeah, if you're into cooking and stuff like that, and a harsh yelling at people who don't know how to cook, go to Hell's Kitchen, because I think you'll enjoy it. 
But anyways, this video has reached 15 minutes, and most of it is just me talking about Hell's Kitchen, I feel like. So, I'm actually just going to end this video off here. So, I will see you guys all later. Bye-bye.